Hello guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the fixes to the issues which are happening in the game Elden Ring. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about game crash fix one, mouse not working fix, better frame rate, that is how can you increase the performance of the game, game not saving fix, update on a patch fix from Bandai Namco, the developer publishers of the game Elden Ring. Now before you launch the game, the most important thing is that you should disable your antivirus as well as your firewall program. Also, you have to update your Intel as well as your graphics card driver. Updating just one will not help. You have to update both of your Intel as well as your graphics card driver, AMD or NVIDIA, anything. But you have to update both the drivers. And also, Elden Ring, since it has released, it has so many issues. Hopefully, the fixes which I'm going to tell you will help you overcome those issues. Now, firstly, let's talk about the game crash fix one. Now your GPU should support DirectX 12. If it does not support DirectX 12, you have to update it to DirectX 12 because that way you can prevent uh, the loading issue, the crash up issues. Now how can you check whether your GPU supports DirectX 12 or not? Now you have to go to your uh, search bar, you have to search for DX, DIAG without the double quotes and then you can go to the drivers and the feature level you will see whether at least 12 is mentioned 12 underscore 0 anything below it you have to update it but anything above it it's fine but anything below you have to update it hopefully after you do it restart your system and hopefully the performance the crash up issue would not be there now moving on to the next issue which is very very difficult the mouse not working the sensitivity issue is the something which is making the gamers going crazy because mouse is the most important thing when you play the game now on reddit a lot of issues and fixes are there but one guy just posted and i quote adjusting dpi is what i did too if you have a logitech mouse or any decent mouse set up a dpi key bind that way you can just press a button when you need to go into the menus still annoying but better another guy uh, commented i did the same makes it bearable so it will definitely not uh, uh, completely uh, resolve the issue but it will make the performance bearable and you can enjoy the game a little bit of more ease will be added if you do this fix uh, because the developers are currently working on the patch fix but if you do this it will make the game bearable and you can at least at least somewhat enjoy the game now moving on to the next issue how could you get a better frame rate Mostly the gamers are struggling to run this game at 30 FPS as well as 60 FPS. The performance is not that good. But what can you do to increase the performance to a, again bearable? Now set the high performance in power option. Control panel, go to the hardware and sound setting. Click on high performance and select it and make sure that you restart it. And make sure that you give high performance to your system so that your system, your whole laptop or computer, whatever it is, is performing at its max level. So that your game runs fine and smoothly and also after restarting it you have to reinstall microsoft visual c so you have to do two steps firstly you have to set high performance in the power option and then after restarting make sure you restart your system and after that you have to reinstall microsoft visual c runtime now type apps and feature and click on it from the search result you can locate microsoft visual c in the program list and then you will see a lot of uh, Microsoft uh, uh, C++, uh, Visual C++, then you have to uninstall and then install it. So make sure you do this step because it will help you increase the performance of the game. And now moving on to the next thing, game not saving issue. This is happening in both PS5 as well as to some of the users in PC. There is no fix to it. The only fix available is that manual saving. Where whatever you do, whatever levels you go, do a manual save before you close the game. Otherwise, you have to struggle with your save game feature. And then when you again restart the game, you will be starting from a place uh, before uh, before completing this game. You will start from a place where you will think, what is this happening? So do a manual save. That is very much recommended. Now, news on an updated patch fix from the developer and publishers of the game Elder Ring. Now they have noticed all these issues and currently the developers are working on it like to give a better performance experience, be it the frame rate, be it a mouse not working, be it uh, saving issues, be it the overall performance. Uh, they, have, uh, they have taken into consideration all this stuff. Now currently you can do this a uh, temporary solution, whatever I have, so I have told you, these are all temporary solution, but permanent solution, the patch fix, from Bandai Namco is definitely coming and within one week or two weeks time I think they will be coming with their patch fix 1.01 1 
that would be very helpful and you might be thinking that how would you come to know on this channel i will update you as soon as the updated patch fix from bandai namcom come uh, so hopefully i was able to cover a lot of issues here and fixes i was able to tell you if some of the issues i have missed you can let me know in the comment section and let's discuss if you are playing this game, what all issues you face and what all fixes help you so that this community, the people who are watching are getting help and they know what is the what is the issue which is still there and what are the fixes which are still there. So let's contribute and comment in the section and let me know whether you are playing this game or not. So bye-bye. Take care. If you haven't subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe it. Our next target is 10k subscriber. Hopefully we achieve that as soon as possible. Bye-bye. Take care. Keep supporting. Keep loving. And always, always. Keep gaming.